Welcome in this week Technical Tuesday episode. Today I will demonstrate two ways of creating engraving operations in NXCAM. To make most basic and simple engraving text, I use planar text and contour text operations. These operations use an NX drafting node object. So I'm creating a node. Notice that this node is oriented in XY plane of WCS, and this is how drafting nodes works. That's why we need to rotate WCS before we will add the node. And now you can see that it's oriented as we would expect. OK, so let's position it here. And I will create contour text operation. All we need to do is to select a drafting node which we want to use as our text. Also, we can specify a cut area and depth of cut. And that's basically it. As you can see, the toolpath is being projected to the part geometry and depth of cut is applied. This way we achieved letters with a thickness. To make it faster to machine, we can make these letters a single lines. All we need to do is to use different font. I'm going to use a ISO font. I will also make this spacing between the letters a little bit bigger. And I will create another operation with this node. This way we created the node with letters which are made with just single tool pass. Let's see a visualization of this operation. Here you can see the difference between font with a thickness and without thickness. These operations are associative with nodes. So after we move one of these nodes, Toolpath will update correctly. Second way to create engraving operation is to use modeling curves. This way we can create more advanced shapes than just straight letters. So I will add sketch with an arc across this part.
and I will add a text. This text will be oriented along this arc. It is important to know that if you want these curves to be projected to the face which you selected, you should check Project Curves option. Here you can see the difference. And I will also project this arc into this face. Here are the curves which I will use to create the operation. I will do it with fixed contour operation and I will use curve point drive method. We should select all characters which we want to engrave and after each separate curve, we should click Add New Set button. We can do this also by clicking mouse scroll. It is much faster this way. And our operation is ready. Additionally, I will also change Engage Type. And I will add a negative stock to actually remove some material. On this final 3D verification, you can see all types of engraving operations, which I just showed you. Thanks for watching. I will try to record with voiceover since now. And I hope it was not too difficult to understand me with my accent. Stay tuned. See you on the next Technical Tuesday.